a little busy right now. Assistant coach uh, Don Schaefer joins us. And Don, uh, you know, just have to tip your cap to all the state last night. They just hit the ball extremely well, pitched it well, hit it well, and, you know, they got a great performance from their nine-hole hitter last night with a couple of home runs. I think those guys will compete in the, really well in the double-A level this year. I mean, they're a pretty good team. We, we're, we, we hung in there. We're happy not to get 10 runs because early it looked bad. We're down 7 nothing. But uh, I give credit to our guys. We battled, hung in there. We brought a little left-hander, Ryan Dietrich, who they didn't light up the uh, radar gun out there, but kept them off balance enough to keep us in the game and give us a chance to get back in it. And unfortunately, Wall State made every single play. Every single ball we hit, we hit some balls hard. They made every play, made it tough for us to come back and, and get back in the game. And the Catamounts have to play solid defense. You can't have mistakes today. Well, absolutely. You know, we're not a team, you know, like some of the teams out here, like I was hearing the Iowa coach talk yesterday, we're not super talented. We've got to make every play and play not perfect, but we've got to play almost perfect. And uh, our, our defense really has to step up and make plays. And we have to hit the ball. We have to score some runs. And today's a crucial game because both teams are facing elimination. I think it's crucial for someone to get a lead early and build on that lead because uh, if you get behind, the pressure might get to you a little bit and make you, make you a little tight. You beat them in the first game Sunday night. What do you feel like you had great success from that game that you need to, to really do today as, as well against the St. Petersburg ball club? We had two things that night. One, our pitcher, Brett McClain, battled his butt off. He's a tough kid, and he, he, didn't, he didn't pitch the greatest game of all time, but he battled, battled, battled. And second, our hitters did a great job of getting their number one guy out of the game. Their number one, Redmond's pretty good. And we battled and took pitches and, and, and hit him around a little bit and got him out of the game. And we're fortunate. We, we thought, like, the next guy that came in can't be as good as the guy that started. But we were wrong because the next guy came in throwing 93, 94. <laughs> so I don't, know, I, I don't know what they got thrown at us today. Probably another guy's pretty good. But uh, our hitters need to do a good job today to keep us in the game. John, who are you going with today? Our pitcher is Joe Stupka from Pennsylvania. And it's interesting. I look down the bullpen right now, and he's he's on the ground stretching or doing something. So I hope there's no concern. That's why Doug's not here. There's, we got a slight concern with him. He When he's on, he's pretty good. Um, but we got the, you know, everybody's available today to go and keep us in the game. But Joe does a good job. He's got a, a good fastball and a really good over-the-top breaking ball. Hopefully he's okay down there. I'm looking down. I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully he's okay and keeps us in the game. John, I appreciate it. Best of luck today. Jim, thank you very much, and thanks for everybody. The hospitality we've got this week is unbelievable. Uh, this is the second best town on earth as far as we're concerned. Well, right next to uh, Kaiser, West Virginia, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Jim, thanks for your time. Hey, thank you, Don. I appreciate it. Don Schaefer.